Cook with Kate. So these are Facebook Lives, we're live streaming every day, every weekday at midday, giving you some lockdown lunch inspiration. Um, today, our lockdown lunch is butternut squash risotto with a little twist, which is a uh, maple syrup almonds. So these are little crunchy, uh, little crunchy, um, kind of sweet, but it goes really nicely with the, with the butternut squash um, just scattered over the top. Um, every day we are dedicating our Facebook Live to something special. So today, the dedication is a very special one and it is to all the NHS workers um, who aren't locked down at home but are having just the most, uh, I hate that word, unprecedented, but it is, it's an experience that they're all prepared for um, but are uh, having to go through now and I, I think it's a pretty horrendous experience for most. What we're doing is we're working with, if I get this over here, this is a, a care package that we're just uh, preparing. So we, we've got lots of these boxes that we're making up this week to send out to um, various different hospitals. And we've been given specific names and addresses by our friends at Nutritank, um, who are um, basically a medical, an organisation set up by medical, start, medical students um, to uh, encourage or to empower um, more nutrition education within the medical curriculum. Um, so we've got all these lovely care packages stuffed full of go bites to keep our medical staff, our NHS workers going because they're going to need them. Um, so back to butternut squash risotto. Why is it a good lockdown lunch? Um, for me, it's one of my favourite risottos. It's very comforting, and I think this week we all need a little bit of comfort. I think we're all feeling a little bit, a, a little bit strange going into that second week of, of lockdown. Um, it's also really good for you. Uh, it's packed with so we've got rice here. We've got arborio rice. So this is a, a really good source of of of, of carbohydrate, of sustaining carbohydrate. We're still able to keep our exercise up, so uh, we've been out for a five mile run at seven o'clock this morning, beautiful sunshine, it was so lovely. Um, so we're going to need to recover um, with a bit of carbohydrate um, uh, for our lunch. Um, it's got, these are the butternut squash that I've already uh, roasted in the oven. Um, so butternut squash. Can you see that orange? So that orange is the beta carotene that you get in orange vegetables. So carrots, sweet potatoes, butternut squash, and that is a really good source of antioxidant, an antioxidant called beta carotene. Great for the immune system, great for basically all health all over. So um, heart health, heart health, um, eye, you know, people say that carrots, eating carrots make you see in the dark, very good for the eyes. Um, we've also got my special superfood, which is an onion, an unknown and uncelebrated superfood. We've got garlic. Um, we're going to put some. We're going to um, We're going to make this stock with some vegetable stock. So I've got some vegetable stock, which I'm just going to put on to warm up because it's best to make a risotto with hot stock. Um, and that's it, really. Before we start cooking, I've got a special dedication to make. And that is to everybody who's got a birthday, but specifically to my nephew, Edward, whose birthday it is today, and he's 11 years old. So he's having to do a little bit of schoolwork, um, but then he's celebrating with his dad. Um, nobody, he can't invite his friends around. Um, all those kids who are having birthdays can't have birthday parties, which is kind of something that you look forward to all year. So happy birthday, Edward. We're going to give you a wave later on um, from, from, so you can look out the window. We'll wave to you to, <laughs> to wish you happy birthday and um, hope to see you later. So now to cooking. Just see whether, just going to turn on the comments, see who's joined us today. I'm going to bring this over here actually. We've moved positions today, so I'm going to bring this over here so we can see where we get where we're at. So, here we, hmm? Hmm? Here we go. Great. Harvey's, Harvey's 
there. Hello, Harvey, how are you? So to start with, we're going to just chop up the onion and saute the onion nice and gently. You could put a little bit of celery if you wanted in as well. Um, that always makes a really nice base for a risotto. Um, we're just gonna uh, cut this onion up quite finely. Doesn't have to be too perfect. I hate cutting up onions in front of everybody. It's one of those things, isn't it? But how beautiful can you cut an onion? Basically, there we are. We're going to put a knob of butter, but obviously if you're vegan, so Harvey, I know you're vegan, aren't you? Um, uh, you, you could just use a little bit of olive oil or rapeseed oil, um, what's, you know, a, a, a butter alternative, but it does taste really good. If you're not vegan, it does taste really good with, with butter. So we're just going to melt a nice knob of butter. Um, this recipe is actually out of the original Go Faster Food, which is <laughs> over 10 years old now. Um, this is the first book that I ever wrote. Um, and it's specifically, I suppose, for endurance athletes, um, although a lot of people use, use the recipes at home for their families. Um, it's actually dedicated to um, to Julie, who is the wife of our friend Mark, with whom we're living at the moment. Um, so, yeah, go faster food. We'll talk about more, more about that later. There's a lot of dedications going on today. Um, so we're going to melt the butter. I'm just going to add the, the onion. Let's just lift this up here. How's everyone feeling today? How are you feeling? Are you, are, you, are you starting to get used to the lockdown or are you starting to get a bit fed up with it? I'd love to know. Just let me know in the comments what you, how you're feeling. What are you thinking about? What are you thinking about lunch? Have you managed to do some exercise today? Um, if so, what have, you, what have you done? So I'm just going to get the garlic. I've just got a little garlic here. You could crush it with a crusher. Um, you can grate it or you can just chop it up. Just going to chop it up roughly. Get some nice garlic and pop, pop that in as well, and we'll let that um, cook nice and gently for a couple of minutes. Now, the while that's cooking, just move that there. While that's cooking, basically, I have chopped up um, butternut squash and roasted it in the oven for about 25 minutes. So butternut squash, don't bother taking the, the, uh, the, the don't, bother bother, don't bother peeling it because you really don't need to and it's a right pain. Has anyone ever tried peeling a butternut squash? It is a right pain, really, really difficult to do. Um, so literally just chop it into um, cubes maybe about one centimetre, um, one centimetre uh, side like that. And I, what I've done is I've put them in a pan and I have, just turn that down a bit, it's going wild, put them in a pan with a tablespoon of olive oil, um, salt and pepper, a little bit of cumin and coriander as well, because I just think that those spices go really nicely with, with butternut squash. Um, you need to scoop out the, when you prepare a squash, you cut it in half and then scoop out the seeds. You can, if you want, you can wash the seeds, take, take off the, the uh, fibrous bits and you can, you can roast them in the oven um, and they create nice little crunchy, really good for snacks. Sp sprinkle them with salt and some spices and they make a really nice little snack as well. So, just scoop out the seeds and then chop, chop it up. Quite easy, really. Um, so welcome to anyone who's just joined. Um, my name's Kate, Kate Percy. I am founder of um, Kate Percy's Real Fast Food. Um, lots and lots of recipes, all about good energy, um, created to give you great taste. 
smile on the face of friends and family and the right type of get up and go energy. So we've got recipes, we've got free resources on the website that you can just download. Um, and of course, we have our um, first food product, which are these delicious energy balls, Kate Purses Go Bites. They're available, well normally, they're available in places like Whole Foods and we just launched into John Lewis, Waitrose at John Lewis in Oxford Street. Um, but at the moment, you're probably best off getting them online um, on musclefood.gobites.com and we've just restocked on Amazon. So um, our, our Amazon sales took us a bit by surprise. We've just restocked on them. So we've got the, 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 the onions are nice and soft now. So we're ready for um, the, to, we're ready to make the risotto now. So what I'm going to do is start with the risotto rice. Just going to pop this in. The trick to a risotto is literally to keep stirring it, uh, and when you add the stock, the stock needs to be hot. You just need to stir it. It takes about it takes 15 to 20 minutes, depending on, depending on the type of rice that you have. Um, risotto rice tends to, tends to vary. This is literally uh, Waitrose tender and creamy arborio risotto rice. You can get all sorts, all sorts of rice, um, all sorts of different risotto rice. So it does depend on the type of rice you get as to exactly the length of time it takes to cook. You also need the heat, the heat of the pan to be fairly high um, because every time you put the liquid in, you just want the, the, the rice to just soak it in. So I'm going to add, first of all, a little bit of white wine, um, about a glass full. Um, that, that makes it, I'm just going to turn the heat up a bit, that just makes the rice taste really, really good. And obviously all the alcohol, smells really alcoholic for 12 o'clock at lunchtime, but all the alcohol gets burnt off um, and you just get the lovely, lovely flavor. Oh, that smelled to me by surprise. Um, but it will make the rice taste really good. So we've got that wine just soaking up into the rice. And then we're going to start, can you, can you hear it starting to sizzle? We're going to start adding the stock. So I've got the stock here uh, on, a, um, on a gentle heat, uh, so it's nice and hot. And the, I, we actually used up all our chicken stock yesterday, um, so I've decided that this uh, is going to be a veg vegetable stock. I've used the vegetable stock, I've used this bouillon, Swiss marigold bouillon. Um, it's quite nice, you have to be careful, it is quite salty, so you have to be careful about adding salt. Um, the first label you put in, just put in one label and let that all soak in. Can you see this, the, the rice is already starting to expand? <laughs> Lovely. So have we got any, who have we got with us while that's while that is doing, let's have a look. I'm not very good with this iPad. Okay, Gillian, I use my potato peeler on a butternut squash. That is a good idea. That's a very good idea. Um, but it is quite hard work peeling squashes and pumpkins. Um, I tend to just leave the leave the skin on. Also, it's you know you're you're adding more roughage and more fibre um, into your diet, which is always a good thing, especially at the moment. I think we need to be really careful about what we're putting into our bodies um, in this lockdown period, because the, the better you eat, the better you will feel, and also the better um, you, 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 your immunity will be. I think. Keep our muscles strong, eat well, talk to as many people as we can um, is, is a really good way of, of, of keeping going through as far as we can. We kind of were wanting to do a half marathon, but obviously that's um, not uh, going to happen, is it? <laughs> uh, everything has been cancelled. Have you had anything really important that you've had cancelled? Obviously, our, our, our Edward is 11th birthday. It's not cancelled, but there's no parties or anything going on. Um, I think we could have a Zoom party. How about that? So, if you 
you've just joined us, this recipe is from um, the Go Faster Food book. Um, we're going to put it on the um, on the feed as well, so you'll be able to get this recipe and download it and eat it for your lunch maybe tomorrow. Um, butternut squash is a really good lockdown vegetable, I would say, um, because they keep for ages. So you can buy a couple of these. You can make soup really, really good in soup, really good in something like a risotto. But also, if you just roast them like this, if you just roast them and um, leave them to cool, they're fantastic in a salad with a really nice dressing and maybe a little bit of feta cheese or something like that. So they work really nicely. So that's that's doing really well. Can you see how the how the rice is creamy and starting to um, starting to expand? Really good. I'm just going to add. You can you can start adding um, the stock a little bit more um, generously as the as the rice starts to soak in the liquid. One thing I do when I just a little trick for anybody who uh, is a, a runner or into their sport. When I'm stirring uh, risotto, I tend to do my to do my stretches um, while I'm doing it. It's something to do because you do need to really stand over the um, over the pan and to keep stirring. But honestly, it takes it's, it's quicker. Uh, to, I reckon to make something like a risotto than to call a delivery for a, for a, um, for a takeaway. Is anyone having takeaways at the moment, or are you cooking yourself at home? Not sure about takeaways. I don't even know whether they're, whether any of the restaurants are, are doing takeaways. Most of them have closed, unfortunately, haven't they? Um, yeah. So, just a little introduction. This is our Facebook Live. We're live streaming Cook with Kate every weekday from midday. Um, Facebook Lives usually last about half an hour, uh, depending on the length of the recipe. This one's quite a long recipe, so it will definitely take us half an hour, especially as I'm feeling um, a bit talkative today, because I haven't talked to anyone for a while. Um, so how are you feeling in this time, and what's your... What's your um, what's your favourite kind of lockdown recipe? Let's have a, have a think of what you've got in your store cupboards. Let me know what your favourite uh, lockdown recipe is. Are you with your family or are you stuck at home on your own? I think that would be one of the most awful things, just, well, for me, being stuck on my own um, with only people to talk to on the phone. I would find that really, really hard work. So that rice is doing really well. I'm going to add the butternut squash now into it. Break that off. There we go. You can, if you want, just boil the butternut squash. Um, it, it's a slightly different flavour, but if you don't fancy, roast, if you haven't got time to roast it, you think, well, we'll just chuck it in some hot water to boil it for a while. You can do that. I think roast butternut squash really brings out a very deep flavour, which is lovely. I'm going to, if I can find it, where's it gone? Disappeared. Maybe I put it in the cupboard. Yeah, so I'm going to add a little bit of saffron as well um, because because I've got it in the cupboard basically and also it just adds a really really nice orange uh, colour to the, to the dish. I'm just going to add a, a few little strands because obviously saffron is not cheap. I'm um, going to add that and stir that in so that will make a, the, the rice a nice deep deep colour. Look at that. Right while well, that is just finishing off I'm just going to make the maple syrup almonds. So, I'm just going to um, reload this and check, check on the comments as well. We had some fantastic, we've, we've had some fantastic response to this Facebook Live. We've actually had 
30,000% um, increase on 30 second, um, no, three minute views, which is pretty cool. Um, hi, Tracy Warrington. Hi, Tracy, how are you? Is anyone here cooking for themselves or have most people got their family around? So what I'm gonna do is I've got a little bit of greaseproof paper. I'm just gonna line the tray with that. I'm gonna get the almonds, just a pan full of almonds. You could use sl um, uh, uh, sliced almonds, um, but I'm just gonna use whole almonds because I haven't got any sliced almonds. I would normally use, um, use sliced almonds. But I'm just gonna just chop them up slightly. These are going to be so good. This is very easy. It's, like, it's basically we're making a, a top of brittle to go on top of the um, of the of the maple of the risotto. So I'm going to put the almonds in. I'm going to put a tablespoon or just under a tablespoon of maple syrup in there, and also a splash of water helps it crisp up. Oops. That's a little bit too much to splash, so just a splash of water. There we go. Make that. Just make sure all the almonds are coated, and then I'm going to pop that in the oven for five minutes. Can you remind me when five minutes is up? If you want to burn the almonds. Great, so let's give this risotto a nice stir. That is looking gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna turn that off now. Okay, uh, the rice, it's always good to just taste the rice. You might like your rice really well done, or you might like it a little bit al dente. That is, that's got a little bit of crunch to it, but it is, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, add a teeny bit more um, stock to it to just finish it off. The, the other thing is the, the rice does keep cooking for a bit, so it does keep, um, it does keep soaking it in, soaking in the liquid. So there we are, that's the last lot. I'm gonna to top it off with um, some, a little bit of Parmesan. So this is the last of our Parmesan. I'm gonna to have to go shopping again. I'm gonna put some Parmesan on, a little um, um, knob of butter as well. I'm just going to stir that in, and I'm going to add a nice, a good grating of black pepper. Um, I don't think, I don't think I'm going to put any salt in because that marigold um, uh, stock is actually quite salty. I don't think it needs any extra salt. And then I'm going to add some parsley as well. Some nice parsley. I've got. I've got some sage here, actually. I'm not going to add parsley. I'm changing my mind. Let's go for sage, because sage, you might have sage in your garden as well. Sage is quite a common garden herb. It's quite strong. You don't need nearly as much as you would do for parsley, um, but it goes so well with, um, with, with butternut squash. The, the combination is really lovely. I've got a, a recipe for butternut squash um, uh, lasagna as well, which has got sage and goat's cheese in it. Really, really nice. So I'm going to pop that sage in and stir that around. This is a uh, one of one of one of my five by twenty five recipes. So by by 2025, we want every young person by the time they leave home to be able to cook just five basic recipes and I think being able to or sort of knowing how to cook something like a risotto doesn't have to be butternut squash you can put whatever you want in it you can put peas in it you can put chicken you can put pumpkin literally any vegetable really um, uh, or or combination of vegetable and meat and fish um, but it's a really really good basic thing to be able to cook uh, so there's more information on the 5x25 on the website. Um, if you go on to gobites.com, 
you'll be able to find find out what we're doing and how we're working with the Youth Sport Trust um, to uh, help deliver this and amplify it. Because it's just an idea, you know, if, if, every, if every parent took that idea that their child would be able to leave home being able to cook five healthy recipes, then just imagine how powerful that would be. So if you can share, please do, share the idea, share this video, um, with with your friends and family, that would be amazing. I think we're just going to put a little noblet of butter on there as well. And we can stir that in quite carefully. There we go. So, this smells, I have to say, this does smell really, really nice. There we go. Then I'm going to have a look at the almonds in the oven. Let's see how they're doing. You know what? I think they're good. So I'm just going to leave them. I'm going to have to leave them to cool because you need to, so if you can see them, they're there. They just need to cool down. When they cool down, they crisp up um, like magic, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> so I'm going to then get a nice plate, I think, so we can show it off because it's looking so, so nice. Again, have we got, who have we got? Here's the link to, oh, Tim. Hello, Tim. How are you doing? How are you, um, are you at home? You're at home with family? Are you on your own? Um, are you looking forward to eating a nice lunch? Have you done any exercise? So many questions. Please let me know. Let me know how you're feeling. I think um, I'm personally feeling a little bit odd in this second week. I just, uh, you know, all sorts of things are going through my mind. How long is this going to last? Um, who knows? Is it really going to last six months? Um, if it is, I'm going to be doing this every day <laughs> at midday just to keep you going, to keep, give you some food inspiration. Because really, there's all sorts of things that we can be thinking about, but actually food uh, is, one of, <laughs> is one of the main things that we're that is occupying our minds. You know, it's kind of, oh, what's the next meal? I don't know whether anyone else is like that. So there is, there is the risotto. Um, I'm going to put a little bit more parmesan at the top. It does look tasty. Are you looking forward to that, Mark? Mm -hmm. Yeah, thumbs up. <laughs> um, the almonds haven't quite cooled down enough to crisp up, so we'll, we'll leave them for the moment. Um, but I just want to say, if, if you can share these videos, that would be fantastic. We're getting really, really good response. Um, but the more, more we can share, the better we can make people feel, and hopefully the better people will um, feel themselves during this lockdown. Um, again, this, this uh, session is dedicated to the NHS workers out there um, who aren't going to be able to sit down and eat this for lunch, unfortunately. However, we're doing some care packages for them, so they will be able to have go bites uh, to keep them going. Um, so we're going to be we're going to be uh, packing boxes later on today to send out, uh, which will be um, which should be quite a lot of work actually. There's a lot of boxes to pack. Um, so anyway, um, is there? Just have a quick 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 look to see whether there's any more messages keep your messages coming though we're loving them i got one message from a lady saying that um, she had already been in lockdown for three weeks and she was really looking forward to um, some store cupboard meals um, meals that she could make just for one person um, so we'll have more of that coming as well. I think I'm going to do a focus on breakfast as well. Um, some nice, exciting breakfast because they can get a little bit boring. 
Um, and if there's any specific recipes or themes that you'd like me to cover, please let me know in the comments or send me a private message. However, um, if you want to get hold of me on Facebook, it's, well, you're here. If it's Instagram, it's at Kate Percy's. Twitter's at Kate Percy's. Info at gofasterfood.com. Uh, and then through the website, it's gobites.com. And you can actually contact us via WhatsApp through the website as well, which is very fancy. Um, but yeah, please get in touch and let me know what you'd like me to cover, because uh, I'm, I'm certainly really enjoying doing these um, doing these live streams, and I think they're doing me good as well. So, and we'll, we've we've got a really nice lunch to eat afterwards. <laughs> so, bye bye. See you soon.